set to fire. Oh yeah, that did work. Looks pretty in the sun. Hey everybody, Raw Hog here. Today we are looking at replacing the selector switch on an AR-15. This will be useful if you want to add an ambidextrous, which some people do. Uh, but in this case, this is a Bear Creek, and out of the box, we've had several of these with no issue. This one, the safety selector will not move. We can't get it to move, so you can cycle the bolt, but you can't get this. There's something in there. Um, it, it just won't move. So you can't pull the trigger. You can't do anything, obviously, because you can't get it off safe. So uh, luckily, customer service at Bear Creek, uh, you know, pretty pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, send us uh, all the parts you need to replace everything in here. And that's what this video is going to be about today. So anyways, wish me luck. Okay, here we go. So we've obviously separated these. As you can see, so the safety will not move. You know, you can't fire. I mean, there's nothing you can do here um, that I'm aware of. <laughs> so anyways, also I like to have these little metal pans when you're working on stuff. It kind of keeps things steady. We'll leave a link below for those. But um, so on this one, 3 16th. So you can see in there, we'll go ahead and start the process. You can see it in there. Uh, yeah, I wish I could. So anyway. Okay, just this, I mean, you just take this out. Like you said, we started it there. You just take this out and then your grip starts to slide down as you can see um, let's put that all over there uh, so but anyways then you start wiggling it down and it just comes out you have your spring and of course you know bear creek sent me the whole deal but we're just going to set it down here uh, let's see if this so another mag i'm the magnet man look at that so there it is and it's it should just fall right out um, so there's that. So that's pretty nice. And I don't know why they would do that. I don't understand it. But nonetheless, there it is. Uh, there's the piece. Uh, let's see if we can focus on that. It's not happening. Right? There it is. So anyway, there's still there. So release that. Is this thing working here? Come on, man. So there we go. Got that going. Now, the only thing left to do is just put it back together. Uh, I'll probably give this a little wipe down, actually. So I'm just going to wipe around, uh, make sure that everything's good in there, and then put her back together. Okay, so we wiped it down. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't any, like, little pieces of machining or something in there. So we wiped it down, took a Q-tip, made sure we got in the holes really good. Uh, so it'll go in, gave it a little oil, wiped it off. Um, so anyways... Uh, these parts seem okay, so I don't know if there was just something caught up in there. Who knows? But I am going to use old new stuff from the Bear Creek that what they sent me uh, in their package. So, and sometimes in my head, I I'm, think I'm saying stuff, but I'm really not. But let's just go over this real quick. So use your 3 16th to pull out, you know, your bolt, your hex, whatever. Uh, and then once that's out, this will slide down. So exposing the spring, you know, so you can save it or, you know, replace it, whatever you need to do. Um, but that goes in there. Then your detent pin or whatever it's called uh, is in here. And then once that's come out, you wiggle this a little bit and then your, uh, the selector switch will fall out. So this will be useful if you need to, you know, some people like to do the ambidextrous, the, the dual. So we're going to try to do that. A little tip I found out is it will not go in, will not go in unless your trigger is cocked. As you can see, it has to, that part has to go down. So you're going to have to give it your hammer. You're going to have to cock that so it puts it down, allows it to go in. Now you can see where the, det the, the pin goes in. So I'm going to go like that. And if you let it, let's see. As you can tell, I didn't prepare at all. So you just put it in and it's ready to go. The only thing you have to do now is put in your little Put in your little pin. So it's gonna be a little easier said than done. Just drop it in the little slot. Of course, the pointy end first. It's kind of hard to do this with uh, no lights. There we go. Then just give it a little wiggle. You see it disappear in there. I hope you can. So. Now, just put your grip on, slip that back on, making sure that it goes back into the hole. There we go. So now, let's 
There we go. You don't want your hammer to slam forward. So that's it. Uh, you obviously have to put this back in. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we've got it tightened down. Put that back in there. See in there. We're good to go. That takes forever, so you don't need to see that. I mean, you know, it's pretty simple. So <clears throat> anyways, so we have it done here. Uh, I've already checked it a little bit, but make sure everything's functioning great. Keep your... So I'm pulling on when it's on when it's on safe, not fire, and put it to fire. Fire and and we are good to go. So looks pretty good. Now I think you know there's one thing we need to do. We're gonna put this thing back together and let's try it out. All right, moment of truth. There's not any sights on this, but should be good. Set to fire. Oh, yeah, that did work. Looks pretty in the sun. Back to safe. Oh, that is still raining on me. So there we go. So it works. Let's go ahead and take this down. Oh, caught it. Double check. All right, everybody. Well, there you have it. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope this helped you out somewhat. Um, and we'll leave some links to some things down that uh, you know down below, like some magnets and stuff like that. Maybe make these kind of little tedious jobs a little bit better. But until next time, you know how you like your reviews. Get it, I come wrong.